So this guy, his name's Rudy. He's 18, I think he's got some mental health stuff going on. And I guess Rudy hadn't been getting along with his mom. Because one night he tells her he's gonna take their dogs for a walk. And then he just runs away. A little later, the dogs show up to the house, and Rudy isn't with them. And when morning comes, he's still not back, and his mom starts to worry. His mom is this woman, Janie. So Janie calls the police and reports him missing, and the search for Rudy gets into motion. And she calls all of her family and friends, panicking, and everyone's looking for Rudy now. They got missing posters going up, they put up billboards all around the city, Janie participates in a GoFundMe campaign to hire a private investigator, but unfortunately, there are no leads. Rudy just disappeared into thin air, and it seems like he's never coming back. Until eight years go by, and there's still been no sign of Rudy. But then, a local church finds a man sleeping outside in the front one night. And the man is passed out, he's kind of unresponsive, and frankly, it seems like he might be on drugs. So they call 911, and police show up, and they take him in and identify the man. And it's Rudy! He's around 26 years old now. So they call his mom, Janie, and when she shows up, she's overjoyed. I mean, she gets to be reunited with her son after all this time and she like takes him home with her. But then, sometime later, police bring Rudy in to question him about what happened during those eight years he was missing. And Rudy blows their freaking minds when he tells them what happened to him. Here's what Rudy says really happened during those eight years he was missing. One night, Rudy, he's 18 years old, and I guess he hadn't really been getting along with his mom. And he tells her he's gonna take the dogs for a walk, and then he just runs away. So his mom, Janie, calls the police, and the search for Rudy quickly gets into motion. Every Everyone is looking for Rudy. But a day or two later, Janie's front door swings open and Rudy walks in. And Janie is shocked. She's like, where the f*** have you been these last two days? I mean, she's obviously relieved to see him, but she also made a really big deal about him missing. And now, he's not missing. And it seems like Janie really liked all that attention she was getting when he was missing. Because then, allegedly, Janie decides to keep the whole act going. And she doesn't tell anyone that Rudy's back. She sits Rudy down and she's like, if police find out you're not actually missing, then you're gonna get arrested for running away from home. So we have to keep you hidden. And Rudy, he has no reason not to believe his mom, and he doesn't want to get arrested, so he does what she says. He goes into hiding, in his own house, terrified that if he gets found, he'll go to jail. His mom basically brainwashed him into thinking he won't be safe without her. And to keep this whole act going, when other family members come over to visit, he hides in the other room. And other times, he and his mom mislead people by giving Rudy a fake name and telling them that Rudy's actually Janie's nephew. So Janie and Rudy keep this act going for eight years. And at some point, Janie starts asking Rudy to do things that make him a little uncomfortable, like asking him to sleep in her bed with her, or being in the bathroom while he showers. And according to Rudy, she didn't like actually physically SA him or anything, but she did cross some boundaries and make him uncomfortable. Those are his words. But anyway, after a while, Rudy starts to get a little stir crazy. And he's like asking his mom, when will I get to go free and have a car of my own and a life of my own? But Janie just doesn't doesn't want the con to end. So she keeps telling Rudy if he leaves, police will come and arrest him. And Rudy's like, why don't we just get a lawyer and fight it? And she's like, that would cost too much money. And the whole thing is just really bizarre and toxic and eventually he develops some kind of drug habit. But finally, after years of this going on, the weight of this situation becomes too much for Rudy and he can't live like this anymore. So at 26 years old, he does the same thing he did eight years before. One night, he just runs away way. He gets high on something and he just leaves the house and starts walking. And he walks and he walks and he walks until he somehow ends up in front of a local church. And there is where he passes out and someone sees him and they call 911. Anyway, since this crazy story broke, Rudy is now separated from his mother. I guess he no longer lives with her. Last I read, he's staying with some friends. Good for him. And so far, from what I read, no legal action has been taken against Janie. Because Rudy refuses to press charges against her, I'm guessing he just wants to move on. Let me just say this really quick. I've talked about a lot of cases with you. This might be the weirdest case I've ever covered. Like, no one story in this adds up. There are even conflicting accounts of Rudy's real biological age. So, like, even his age is unclear. Do a deep dive on it. It is wild. Like, something's just not adding up. Anyway, shout out to Houston. By the way, what story do you want me to do next?